So my name is Dan Klass. Um, I had paranormal experiences as far back as I can remember. Um, when I was a kid, there used to be weird things happening in my home, happening to my sisters. Um, we'd come home and my sister would have all of her stuffed animals neatly placed on her bed. She was anal about it. She would always make sure all the animals were on her bed uh, nice and neat before we left. And we would come home and there'd be um, stuffed animal in the middle of the floor. Um, just little things like that. I would come, like my parents were away. I, I had failed a class and I, had this, I was forced to stay home and stay at my friend's house a few doors down. And we were playing G.I. Joe guys out in the sand. We wanted to go into my house to get some of my toys. And uh, when we went in there, we heard singing going on. And uh, we ran up the stairs and the singing stopped. Um, I later, you know, purchased that house from my parents. Um, I thought it would be cool. You know, it, it seemed like the, the spirits, the things that were happening there were just used to. And um, I was familiar with them. It wasn't scary. Um, after I purchased the house, I did some research on it. Um, I had actually saw a medium in Lilydale, and she had said there was two children's spirits living in my house before I even said anything about me. And um, kind of just said, uh, the medium said that they were attached to something in the house, and I wouldn't even, didn't even know what it was until later. Uh, but um, down in the basement, my dad had some original garage door panels that were hanging up and on the garage door panels there was a picture of a little boy and a little girl from the original house um, and I feel like that's what they're attached to and I actually have those in, in my house to this day. Um, I later found out that two children from the original owners of this house had passed away from cystic fibrosis when I went back and researched the house. So um, I've had crayon drawings done on the ceiling. Uh, we've left and come home there's a crayon sitting in the middle of the floor and there's little drawings on the ceiling. Uh, and my kids to this, you know, to this day have experienced some of the stuff that we have when we uh, lived in the house when I was a kid. So uh, that's what got me interested in it. I, I say it over and over again. I mean, the equipment that we have and the strides that they're making in science is great. And the more and more people are in tune with what we're doing, the the more um, equipment's going to come out that'll help us to prove scientifically that there is some type of um, life after death perhaps or or give some type of closure as to what actually happens when you die what the, what happens with the spirit why are there spirits lingering around um, and I feel like there's there's strides being made right now um, and I feel like uh, hopefully within my lifetime we'll be able to answer some of these questions